besides these little artificial documents that they keep giving you guys. You don't have any. Like I said, I've been through the whole more shit. Once this live ends, go back and listen to it because I explained it. I've been through the more shit. I bought the Fez. I listened to Taj to read them bay for a fucking whole year. Sabir and the rest of them. I dog, I've been there. But like I said, go and tell me on that contract that you signed, what the fuck does expatriate mean? Because once again, if you're telling me that this is your homeland, right? You, you are indigenous to fucking uh, Mexum, uh, uh, Turtle Island, so forth and so on. Then you have to prove that. And then on top of that, you're not going to be expatriating from anything. You'll be repatriating because these are your lands. So once again, y'all don't know anything. That's you running your mouth, but you're running your mind. That's the problem. Slow yourself down. Read this shit because that's what I had to do. Read the shit first and then you're going to have to have a conversation. Stop talking about some cat because it's going against this bullshit that you've been taught. It, it, stop. That doesn't make sense, bro. Like, how can you say that you learn something and immediately somebody else telling you something else? There's a problem. Come on now. That doesn't make sense. And, and like I said, once again, this is colonization at its finest. Oh, you, you got dark skin, you a Moor. Oh, 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 you, you got dark skin, you an African. Same concept. You got dark skin, oh, you black. Your life isn't about to assist me with anything. This is, this is what I keep trying to tell you. You ain't study, cross-reference anything that I'm talking about. All you've been saying that I'm running my mouth, so obviously you haven't taken your time out. So what can you say? What would you have to say besides, oh, well, Ty said this. Oh, if you read this book right, stop it, man. More was based on Muslim. It was the views of the time. That's when you had the Christian Crusades, the Catholic uh, wars, and all this other shit that was going on with religious times. So that's why the fucking Moors were called Moors because they're dark skin, and they were called Muslims because they were out of Spain and North Africa. The mixed Berber. Every time you read the definition, that's what it says. But if you go read any type of definition of being an Indian, you're indigenous here. It's not putting you to Africa. This is more shit that, that you guys aren't even comprehending. Bro, you wasting your time even sitting in my DM. What you, what you even here for? Like I said, you ain't disproved nothing. All the shit's on my page. Like I said, if you're talking about Noble Jurelli, then you're talking about a religious trust that happened. Noise Cook County. It's on my page. Going down. Cross reference, bro. I've been all through the more shit. All through Taj. All through Sabir. Sabir was fucking. I, I hopped in when Sabir was fucking just getting on with fucking Taj. Get that loser out of there. Peace. What's up? What's up? Chilling. So you had some discrepancies with the Moors. Yeah, man. Yeah, I did. So did you, did you fully, y'all just got did some explaining read, to do. Did you fully read what you what you posted? Did you yeah, fully did. read it? Or? Yeah. What you got out of it? Well, it says right there that the term "more" was applied to dark skin, brown skin, and reddish brown skin people who were yeah, not only right. indigenous who were not only indigenous to Europe, but to West and North Africa. Even black Indians of Western Hemisphere were also dubbed with this title. Right. So doesn't that mean was doesn't that mean that Indians are Moors? No, they just dealt with the title because of the word more just simply means just another it's just another ethnically term. No, no, it's not that's color. not that's that's not what it says there. It didn't say nothing about ethnic whatever. It says yeah. title. It says dubbed with this title. Title doesn't right. mean dubbed. Title doesn't mean also known as. They said title for a reason. They didn't say dubbed with this name they didn't say dubbed with this misnomer they said dubbed with this title if it's a title then that means it's legitimate it stands as what it is there's no debating it if it's a title king is a title you can't you don't debate you can't debate what a king is that's a title yeah. bay is a title l is a title l is a title that goes back to to gods of Canaan. You can't tell gods of Canaan that they're not Moors if they if they got if their god is named El and they were created by their god, then they're little Els. They're still Els. Hmm. So the issue that the issue that our people have is that we look at at what the colonizer taught as legitimate, not what common sense tells us. 
if if every dark if the definition of more is any dark skinned person, especially an African Negro, then anybody who's dark skin is a more. That's just what it is. It's nothing to debate. They might have been called other things as well. But the the bottom line fact is that if they're dark skin, they're a more. You're a more. Well, I mean, from the term more, yeah, I would be because of what it means for the skin color. But what I'm trying to get at is, you know, when they say moors, it's like a it's like a y'all put it in as a nationality and you know, that's just not it. You know, no, but it, but it is a nationality. But, but it is a nationality. How is it not a nationality? Isn't isn't Moroccan a nationality? But who comes from Morocco, though? That's what I'm saying. The, 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 the question is, where is Morocco? That's the question. Oh, I know Morocco. Where's is, where is Morocco? Where's right. Morocco? Where's Morocco? In Africa. That, so that's the only Morocco. Well, okay, let me ask you this. Where's Memphis? With Memphis, Memphis is here. And I know Memphis has something to do with uh, Egypt. Oh, so, okay, so, but how come you didn't say, when I said, where's Memphis, how come you didn't say Egypt? Egypt. Well, because, <laughs> well, you got me no, on that one. You got me on that yeah, one. Yeah, when, when I said, where's Memphis, you said, here. But when I say Morocco, you're telling me about over there. How come Morocco's not over here? If Egypt's how over here. If Egypt's oh, over here, then Morocco's over here too. Egypt can't be the only place that's over here. Morocco's also over here. They just never told you that part. Where's Morocco at over here? The the entire Western Hemisphere is the empire of Morocco, including over there. Hmm. But they never told you that part. Because if they tell you that part, then you realize that you rule the planet. You don't just rule Africa only or America only. The whole planet is ours. Europe, Russia, all that is ours. Asia, all That's that fact. is ours. That's fact. All that is ours. We're the oldest all right, so, in the in the universe, actually. You know, and all right. But the it's just so many names for us in the world. You know. What I mean? Exactly, but and 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 there, and, there, and there's not so many names for other people. Nobody else is called yellow right. people and all that stuff. Nobody else is called indigenous or aboriginal or whatever. Chinese are Chinese. Right, right. Indonesian are Indonesian. Right. Polynesian are Polynesian. Because right. that's what they are. That's their nationality. Why? Because they have a certain phenotype. They have a certain blood type. They have a certain being as to who they are. That's their nationality. You know Irish. Mm. by how they look. You know an Ashkenazi by how they look. And you know a Moor by how they look. A Moor looks like any dark-skinned person, especially those people that's called Negroes, especially them are Moors. Right, right. So basically you just use Moor as a, like, like just describing who we are as melanated beings. That's what you're saying. Based on, based on nationality. Right. Because Moors are descendants of Moroccans, and Moroccans come from Morocco, and Morocco is an empire, not a country in Africa. Right. Mor yeah, I heard that Morocco is an okay. empire. So, right. So, if Morocco is an empire, that means there's all different parts of nationalities part of that empire. Mm -hmm. There's all different kingdoms that make up that empire. Right. And that's where Moors are going with it that we're part of the Moroccan Empire. Turtle Island is part of the Moroccan Empire. Turtle Island is not some stuff some Indians made up. If they're going to run with Turtle Island, that's part of the Moroccan Empire. And then where's the... Um... So when you say Morocco, I know that, you know, I think of Arabs, you know what I mean? So where do they come in this? And, you know, because I know they occupy most of Morocco over there. Yeah, they occupy most of Morocco today. Right, right. But th those aren't the original people of Morocco and Algiers and Tunis and all that. Right, right. The people who th who's there, they aren't the original Arabs because even those people know that all Arabs are Moors, which are dark-skinned people. Mm. They know that. You can go look look on the Persian, the Persian stuff and you'll see Afros and Fezes and all that. 
Right, That's right. them. That's the pale Arabs. All that Persian stuff and all that. Okay. So but when, when I was doing my research, right? Yeah. On, you know, Moors and where they come from and how it was created, it was the Arabs. Because this were Muslim, um, Islam, I'm going to say Islam. It started with the Arabs. They started no, it didn't. religion. And no, then they it didn't. pushed it on our people over in Africa. No, 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 it didn't. Islam started with Africans. It started with Really? Yeah, you can go. You can go find that out in Doctor Ben's book. In Doctor Who's? Doctor Ben. Okay. Because you're younger, you might not know him. No, I never but heard of that guy. Research, yeah, research Doctor Ben Yakinen. Right. Doctor Ben. Doctor Ben. Just put Doctor Ben. He'll come up. Just put Doctor Ben in Google, and Doctor Ben uh -huh. had a doc had a doctorate in Moorish history. Right. Right. So, and he was he was the four he was the foremost African scholar amongst our people in seventies eighties nineties going into two thousand before he transitioned he was the he was the top scholar every scholar gave him honors as being their master teacher dr ben dr ben huh yeah so where so how did how did Islam start between Africans because you're looking at you're looking at what people today call Islam as being Islam that's not Islam okay so what is what are you talking Islam, about Islam Islam is Islam is you know in ancient Egypt how the pyramid, how the um pharaohs wore the crown with the snake coming out of the forehead see i know that represents like kundalini energy Right, which which is which is which is mysticism. Hmm. That's what true Islam is. True Islam hmm. is mysticism. They call it Sufism okay. nowadays. Okay. Sufism is true Islam, not the stuff that you see people doing Ramadan and wearing hijabs and all that stuff. That's not Islam. Okay, okay. So just like just like the the stuff that we see. The stuff that we see people today that they say that that's Christianity. That's not Christianity. Yeah, no, that's not. I don't know what that is. The, 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 same, way look, the, same, and, and, the same way you look at that is the same way you look at Islam. That That's not Islam what they're doing. Right. That's what they say Islam is. But the general populace knows that that's a created um, religious system for uh -huh. spiritual indoctrination. Right, exactly. Just like Judaism so, is, just like Christianity is, just like Pentecostal is, just like all those other right, religions are. Right. right? Yeah. And there's, there's an earlier version of it that has nothing to do with what the people are doing today with that. So, there's, so, you, so what you're saying is for, the, reg, for the, the, the right Islam, so there is no, you don't worship no Muhammad as your prophet or you know what they say Allah no right. that that's an that's an assumption that people make based on them listening to people who aren't Moors talk about Moors okay hmm. instead of if you want to know about plumbing you ask a plumber right 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 if you want to know about about fix the car engine you ask a mechanic right mm -hmm. but if they want to go well, if they want to know about Moors what do our people do they go ask some negro over there they go ask some black guy over there. They go ask the Hebrews over there. They uh -huh. go ask whoever else down there. Right, they go ask right. the European over there, and they'll never ask some more. Right. To find out what it is. And then if they do ask some more, and the more tells them what it is, they're going to be debating about, nah, that's not what it is, because, you know what I mean? This European book that I got didn't say that. It says that we're black. Or this black scholar book that I have says that the Moors cut people's hands off in the Congo, so that means we're not Moors. Right. And then and then that's another thing how when you when you just said uh see this is what I was researching in when you said the Moors was cutting the hands off in the Congos, um, that was um enslaved, you know, Africans that dubbed that, that not dubbed but that was called Moors, that the Arabs named Moors that enslaved them. The Arabs enslaved them and made them do all that mess and then you know, enslaved some Africans in Africa and then brought them over here during the uh, slave trade. 
Yeah, that, that's that's if that's if you can even get to the point of the slave trade because the slave castles are not in Moorish countries. Mm -hmm. So how are Moors? How are Moors the 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 guilty of slavery? But nobody's talking to the people where the slave castles are at and calling them traitors and sellouts. Right. Matter of fact, they glorify them. The places where they're gonna go visit the slave castle, where they have to walk on the on the four hundred years of feces of their ancestors or whatever like that, gory, yeah. no return home and all this stuff. Oh yeah. Right? Okay, right. well, all those things aren't in Moorish countries. Those aren't yeah. Moorish countries like that. How people say the Moors yeah. were involved in slavery. The boats never left a Moorish port that brought that had slaves. That was that was West Africa. So how are they blaming the Moors for slavery when it's the West Africans who are the ones that did it? Well, but, they, but, 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 they but what they did, they what they did is they the put Moors. the fez, they the put Africans. the fez, they put the fez on a West African, a Central African, a South African, right? And and had people think those are Moors because they're wearing fezes. Well, no, those were Congolese people. Those were, those were Senegalese, those were African, Central, East Africans that they took and made them part of the British Army. Right. And the uniform of the British Army was fezes and, and stuff like that. That's not Moorish. That's propaganda to make us hate Moors. Because we're going to look at it like, oh, the Moors cut those people hand off. No, it wasn't. That, those were European occupiers that did that. Those were people working for the enemy that did that. That wasn't Moors doing that in the context how you're talking about it or how people present it. That was propaganda. Everybody knows that there was a campaign against the Fez to make the Fez something negative from the 19, say from the 1900s, from the 1900s to maybe the 1940s, 1950s, there was a campaign to get people to look at the Fez as something negative. And part of that campaign was that stuff that they did in the Congo, what they did all throughout the continent of Africa, having these Europeans create armies with African people as soldiers, but then dress them up in Fezes and make them look like Moors when they go do dirt for this European. Hmm. Hmm. And where's all this? And where's all this at? As far as? Like the, uh, like this information, you know, where's, this, was this something you think I, like, you think I overlooked or? Because no, I didn't it's, hear it's, that part. What, 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 what? It's not, because it's that, not. That could make sense. It's not that, that it's overlooked. It's that, the etymology of war is confusion. Hmm. So anytime you're looking at situations that they quote unquote called war and you're caught up in the guns and the bombs and the tanks and the whatever like that and you're not thinking, oh, they're causing confusion, then you're already lost because you're looking at it from the wrong perspective. Hmm. And then you're looking at it from the wrong perspective. For example, if you're telling me about you did some research on some Congo or whatever, but then when we ask you about Dr. Ben, who's the foremost scholar of African history, and you don't know about him, somebody played you by not letting you know about Dr. Ben. Because he should be one of the first people that they give you books. If you're talking about study African history, that's one of the first books that you should have, something from Dr. Ben. Hey. Another, book that they, another book that they should tell you about is... How how Europe underdiscovered Africa. How and that's talking about how Europe undiscovered Africa. Mm. And so that's that's a book about how all the European nations went into Africa and started carving up Africa into what we see today and call that Africa. Right, right. When that's not really Africa. That was that was created. Yeah, I knew that. Right? No different than the United States was created. Created. There's no no, there's no N Y and G A and F L and whatever as no, far as states. No, that, no, all no. those are fictions. Yeah, that's not real. 
All the, the same thing that they did on the continent. And that's what colonists do everywhere they go. Cause confusion or AKA start wars. Mm. And then once the people are confused, then they don't know up from down. They're, they think they're going up when they're digging their own grave. So when you use the term war, you just describing it as not just like your skin color. Like, what do you, you know, as a Moor, what is, what is like the, um, you know, like your mains goes, like, what is like, what do y'all push? You know? The, like, the, the main thing that we push as Moors is that we're not Negro black colored or right. Africans that came over on a slave ship. We're the Aboriginal indigenous people of the planet. Not just North America, South America, Central America, not just Africa, but yeah. also Europe, yeah. Asia, Antarctica, Arctic, doesn't matter. We're the yeah. foundation of the people on the planet. We're the founders of civilizations. Modern day, they would call us Moors. Before Moors, they were calling us all other stuff. Nubians, Camites, Kemetic, Phoenicians, whatever. They were calling us everything. We had multiple names. But yeah. the name, the name that is recognized as the last dark skinned rulers of this world was Moors. Nobody was ruling after that. All of us became slaves after that. And then so the only way give me a uh, can you give me a timeline on that? What years or you know the the, the specific year is fourteen ninety two. Okay. That's yeah, the we year all, that we, the, all, we that, all know that year. We all know that year. That, that's the year, but that's the year. The, what what they only tell is the part of is the part of Christopher Columbus. They don't tell about the part of before Christopher Columbus that led up to Christopher Columbus going and doing whatever. And what led up to Christopher Columbus was the fall of the Moors. Hmm. Right. Not the fall of the Indians. Not the fall of the Cherokee or the fall of the African kings of whatever, the fall of the Moors. And right after that is the slave, is the slave narrative. So if, if we're going to trace ourselves back, we can't trace ourselves back to before slavery and then skip over Moorish history and start talking about ancient Egyptians. That's a, that's a farce. That's a fraud. You can't do that in, 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 in history. You can't skip over parts of history because you don't want to deal with it. But that's what we always do. We say, oh, before we were slaves, we were kings. And then we go back to talk about ancient Egypt and, and Kemet and Nubia and, and all this stuff that, that there's 800 years of Moorish history we didn't even look at. So you tell me, after the fall, so, I'm trying to say, so after the fall of Egypt, here comes in this Moorish history. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, okay. because because in 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 um, George G M James book, another book to get stolen legacy. Mm -hmm. In stolen legacy in George G M James, he made reference and Matt, and don't forget they killed him for him telling this in the book. What he was telling in the book was that after all the Greeks and all that stuff got the information from Egypt, right, right. After that, uh -huh. they, got, they got ridiculed for, for bringing all that heathenistic stuff back to Europe. That's why you talk about they killed Aristotle, they killed Plato, they killed Socrates and all these people. Mm -hmm. Because they were bringing back something to them that was foreign to them. Right. And they weren't having it, which led them to fall back again into the Dark Ages from, from before. Now, in the time of them being in the Dark Ages, you also have this issue of ancient Egypt falling. Mm. And what George G.M. James is putting out is that when Egypt fell, the Egyptians made the Moors the custodians of all the ancient knowledge. And then that's verified when you go read the Palermo Stele, which is a... a, a a hieroglyphic um, piece of stone and then it tells you that the term Moor was known in the hieroglyphics and the Moors were the high priests of the ancient Egyptians and everybody knows that when you study ancient Egypt 
the high priest was the one who was really making the decisions. It wasn't even the Pharaoh. Mm. The high priest yeah, was the I man. Know, yeah, I know about them. Yeah. All right. So if the high priest was the man, and then the Moors are called the high priests in ancient Egypt, then that's who the Moors before. That's who in ancient Egypt, when it fell, gave the gave the power to. And then the high priest took that, and then they have the story of them going into Spain and all that stuff. And then they talk about they're spreading Islam amongst the Christian, whatever. No, that wasn't what was going on. They were bringing they were bringing order back to the planet. Okay. Specifically, specifically Europe and those places. Yeah. Um, what, what was it when the Moors uh, went into Spain? Right. That's eight. Yeah. That's eight hundred. Uh -huh. That's that's okay. that's okay. right. That's seven eleven. So those were Egyptian high priests. Those were Egyptian high priests. Okay, yeah, because that's 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 what I was uh, reading on. They said no, they wasn't Moors. They were Egyptians that went into Europe. But what you're saying is they were still Moors. Yeah, but but they were Moors because the Egyptians called them Moors. Right. Not because some Europeans. The Egyptians called them Moors. M A. Period. You are more, ma er. Right. Okay. Okay. So you telling me the Egyptians and Moors they wasn't the same people? They were the same people because Egyptians and Moors are North African. Right. And where do they say the Moors come from? North Africa, right? Mm -hmm. That's what they say. All right. And where's North Africa? Isn't that the whole top part of Africa? That's not just the little corner. Yeah, it's where the whole top. Whole top. The, the whole thing on top is North Africa, right? Right. And Egypt's part of that whole part on top. Facts. Where the pyramids are and all that stuff. Okay, so if, if, if the Egyptian high priests were Moors, then what does that mean about the Egyptians? So you tell me that they were Moors too? Isn't it simple? Yeah, it sounds simple, yeah. All right, and, and let's just well, leave let's it Let's make it sense. So basically what you're saying is that the Moors is uh what we are like is modern day Egyptians, like how we are today. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, and, and, and Egyptians and, and Egyptians are were were the modern day Kushites, and the Kushites were the modern day Phoenicians, and the Phoenicians were the modern day Canaanites and Hamatites and and Amalekites and all these different ites that we hear about in the Bible or whatever. Right. But all of them were dark skinned people. None of those people right. were Europeans. None. No, all right. So it. all right. So if so if every dark skinned person is a Moor, what does that mean about Canaanites? If Canaanites were dark skinned. Say it one more time. Well, what does that mean about Canaanites if Canaanites were dark skinned? They were uh they were they were where's so where are you saying Canaan is at? If if when we look at when we look at quote unquote canon, right. that's right above Egypt. Mm -hmm. All that is Kush. Kush, okay. So remember, Kush, Canaan, all of that is the same people. Hmm. Okay, so when you get into like, um, you know, nationality, know who you are. You just put like, oh, I'm I'm a a Moorish, I'm a Moorish American. You know, it wouldn't go back to like one of your, you know, like your indigenous tribes. Like my my mom, you know, she told me that we were Cherokee. Yeah. You know. But Cherokee, but no, but but and Cherokees are dark skinned people, right? Uh huh. Yeah, my mom is. Okay. All right. A more is any dark skinned person. So what does that mean about Cherokees? They were dark skinned. And what does that mean if they were dark skinned? What are they called? So you tell me they were so. So, so the term more just means dark skinned people. More means dark skin. Right. Okay. So yeah, that's what I was getting at. But I feel like, you know, when, when people promote like this more stuff, you know, they're diving into the religion of Islam and, you know, in a whole nother doctrine, that's not what you're saying, because I'm on board with you and what you're saying, but what I've been hearing. Yeah, that, that's what, that's the, that's the issue with the, the, the what we call in the in the Moorish movement that's right. the problem okay in the Moorish movement there's people who look at this from nationality and uh -huh. there's people who look at this from religion okay 
the people who look at this from religion, those are the ones who have been pushed as this is what a more is. Mm -hmm. That's why you're thinking how you're thinking. Right. But now you're talking to a more who deals with this, not just that more is religion, but more is also a nationality. Mm -hmm. Not just the religious part. We're going to take the religious part, we're going to park it over there, we're not dealing with the religion right now. Right, no. We deal with, we're dealing with the part of, of more being tied to our identity. Forget Islam, forget Allah and Muhammad and Moses. Forget even Noble Juali being called prophet. We're not even going there. Right. We're sticking with him t t teaching us the, the lesson that we're not Negro black colored because right. those names were given to slaves by slaveholders. Slaveholders, right. That's correct. So if we call ourselves that name, then we're under the jurisdiction of the slave master. Mm. Exactly. No, that's no, why we say we're not black, we're not Negro, we're not colored, we're Moors. Mm. But that's, that has nothing to do with religion. That has to do with identity. And identity has to do with nationality. Okay. Yeah, so, so you more on an identity uh, aspect of this uh, situation. Identity meaning of why we're Moors. Not just that more means, means dark-skinned people, but more also means descendant of the ancient Moabite. More also means descendant of Moroccan. More also means the five civilized tribes that they're going to tell you, Cherokee and Chickasaw and yeah. Iroquois and whatever. That's not the five civilized tribes. The five civilized tribes is El, Be, De, Al, and Ali, which are the Moorish titles of nobility. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? So when, you're, so when your mom said that we're we're um, Cherokee. Right. She was really saying we're Anianwia. Because so Cherokee is not really the term that the indigenous people use. Okay. What, they, uh, right? what was it? Like when you research the origin of the term Cherokee, it's going to tell you something different that doesn't even sound like Cherokee. Okay. What is the... Uh... That, that's that's Googleable. One of the Moors put it in the chat. Anyanwia. Okay. I'm gonna research right? that. No, no, no. For for example, just like um, I was speaking with a sister from Chicago yesterday, or day before, and she was saying, "Oh yeah, I'm just coming into this information, whatever, whatever, and it's real interesting that you know my mom told us." that we're Moors. I never knew what she was talking about. But my mom told us that we're Moors, and my grand, she started going into the thing about her, her family's from the South, and they're part of the Indian tribes or whatever, but they never subscribed to being Indians. That her, her, her grandmother taught her mom that we're not Indians, we're Moors. And then, and then, the, and then the descendant of Grandma is here today finding out that, oh, yeah, we're Moors. She didn't go into do any genealogy and all that stuff or whatever, how these people talk. Oh, yeah, you go do your genealogy because you got to find out the tribe of whatever. If they're dark-skinned, they're Moors. doesn't even matter what tribe it is. I guarantee you they're dark-skinned. And if they're dark-skinned, they're Moors. Remember, we're not talking about the religious part that, that people have been pushing more, this Moor stuff as or whatever. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the identity part of it. That once you have, once you have that that hue, once you have that hue, that H U E, th then you're human. Mm. Yeah. And once you're human, you're tied to the human family. And once you're tied to the human family, you have a nationality. Okay, so then back to the nationality part, you know, I see a lot of Moors fell in court, you know, when they go and try to defend themselves. And, you know, because I've been watching and looking and learning, so you, so explain that part to me. So there's, just like, um, let's look at it like, let's look at it like, The place that we're going to, mm -hmm. called the court, right. right? 
let's just say that outside, instead of they're saying court hours, it had some golden arches and they say over a billion served and they sell hamburgers in there. Mm. Would you think that that's court? Say that one more time for me. Would, would, would you think that that's court? If if what? If, some, if, some, if, some, if somebody said you have to go to court right. and when you go to court, there's golden arches and, and tables inside and a play a play pen and all that stuff. And they're telling you you're up next. The judge, the judge is calling you up or whatever. You're going in there to stand up and talk about court. Uh, I see where you're going. No, I wouldn't. I see. I see. Right. right. So that that's not that's not court. Mm -hmm. That those are foreign European colonizers. Right. Okay. Who put up a building, and they put up a building in order to extract finance from the people who aren't competent. From the people who are dumb Negroes uh -huh. that don't know their rights, they're gonna put a they're gonna put a green thing on their car, tell them they owe five hundred, and they know that the person is gonna take the the Negro is gonna take this green thing off their car. They're gonna go to this building that that some European foreigner called a court, a court and they're gonna right. go pay with no questions, right? Right. So now, somebody like me now gets one of these things on my car and I go to the I go to the court, the McDonald's, and I'm telling them, this ain't no court. This is McDonald's. You guys got fries in the back. You got fries right there. You're talking about the judges coming out and all that stuff. Where you where's you guys papers to show that you can really be a court? Because this looks like McDonald's. And then they send in Ronald McDonald and Hamburglar or whatever. They kick my ass or whatever like that. They drag me out and everybody's looking at Oh, look what they did to that more in court. That more stuff doesn't work. Mm -hmm. When everything that we're talking about just happened in the McDonald's. And Ronald McDonald is who was the bailiff. <laughs> and they think that, 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 that something real just happened. That's not court. Because court is society. Right. Court. Not court just, is, uh, not just that say, room. It's just made up. It's just not real, but you know what I was trying to get at. You know, if you was to ever, you know, put yourself in a situation where you had to deal with those fake courts and everything, you know, it's just, you know, I just saw no justice in between it. You know, yeah, but but the a no lot justice got charged with a lot, but of the no, but the no justice is because everybody who looked like that more that went to court that day should have did exactly that what that more did hmm. instead they didn't they went in there and they 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 were a good nigger yes. so because they were because they went in there and they were a good nigger when he came, when the european foreigner came in they stood up and all that stuff when they're leaving the room they bow to him and all that type of stuff right they only talk when they're spoken to they follow the rules of the court and all that they're they're being good niggers. And the more was being a runaway slave. And they already know that we have the power over this one more by having all these runaway slaves in here thinking that, oh, oh my gosh, when I'm a more and I go to court, that's what happened? They they take my fez, they crumple it up, stick it in their pocket. They grab me by my neck and they drag me out of whatever like that. Oh my gosh. They did that to me. They did that to a more. I'm not going to be a more because that's going to happen to me because they don't respect more's rights or whatever. Well, okay. how about the fact that they murdered 500 people in the street and people are still saying that they're black? I never seen them murder a more in the street yet. No. no. I, ne I never see them have the audacity. I didn't see that yet. I never see them have the audacity to murder a Moor in front of Moor Science Temple, knee on his neck, and no Moors did anything about it. Right, right. I never see them do that yet. But our people are not going to go there. But as soon as you go there, you realize the hypocrites that our people are. Because they're going to tell me about some Moor that lost in court, but they can't tell me about where, where's Zimmerman. How come nobody kicked Zimmerman's ass yet? Germans still around here, parading around. Right. They didn't do anything to him. And he murdered that boy. 
They did nothing to him. But they're going to talk crazy about Mars who are standing up for their rights. Risking their own life so that these people could have some rights. Because everything that a Moor does affects everybody. Not just that one individual Moor. Hmm. Just like everything that one, one Chinese does affects all the Chinese. That's why they don't play games with traitors. If you're a traitor, you're either going to do life or we're putting you against that wall and we're going to firing squad you. Mm-hmm. That's because you can't talk against the nation. If you talk against the nation, you're a traitor. Thanks. But our people don't our people don't deal with it like that. Our people want to be friends with traitors. Al Sharpton's still going on the stage today to go talk to our people. All of them. Jesse Jackson's still That's going on the yeah, stage. I was just today. About to mention him. today, he's still allowed to go on the stage. He's a known traitor. He right. helped. Martin Luther King got assassinated and all that stuff. Right. Yeah, all of them. They was all in that, okay, What's but, that? that little no. Greek fraternity, all them all right. members. But our, but our people are still playing games with Moors when they've been around traitors all their life and they never did anything. They never raised a finger to, to challenge one of these traitors. They ride with everything they say. Farrakhan, everybody else, all the traitors, they ride with everything they say. But as soon as Moors start talking about what's real, and how we could fix our problems out here. Everybody wanted to debate something. Nobody debating Farrakhan about what he did with the Gaddafi money, the five million that he got from Gaddafi. Where'd that go? Hmm. Okay. Where, 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 where's, where's all these hair salons and stuff that they were supposed to have from, from the Gaddafi money that they don't got right now? They got everything else. They send you bean pies forever. They got, they got a little newspaper or whatever like that, but the finance they were given to do certain things, they didn't do what they were supposed to do. But they're looking at Mars crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, we don't know what we're talking about. Mars know exactly what we're talking about. So then I just got uh, one question for you. So it's like, you know, like I said, there's, there's many names for us, and we're too divided, you know. And I just feel like there should be one name everybody, should, you know, should be cool with. And, you know, we're just too divided. And I'm going back to that, like, you know, you got the, you know, you got the Moor group, you got these Hebrew Israelites, you know, the Christians, you know. No, no, the, see, that, see the that's, that's, that's the difference. That's the, you know, that's, that's the problem. Same. The problem is that everything else is a slave tag. We are Moors. Mm -hmm. That's the, that's the one name we should be calling ourselves, Moors. Right, right. Everything, everything else is a slave tag. Mm -hmm. Moors are the only ones that could go in their pocket and pull out Moorish identification. Ask a black guy. Let me see your ID. He's pulling out a license that he got from a European. Yeah. Ask an indigenous. Let me see your ID. He's pulling out an ID that he got from a European. Yeah. Ask the Hebrew Israel. Let me see your ID. He's pulling out ID he got from a European. Kemet guy. Let me see your ID. ID he got from a European. Right. Rastafarian. Let me see your ID. ID he got from a European. More. Let me see your ID. Moorish nationality card. Oh, this is not real. This is not a real identification. You can't do nothing with this or whatever. Well, right, right. How? 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 Hmm. You're looking at Moors who created their own ID, which would mean, which would prove that we're indigenous because we make our own stuff. But then the people who have the ID from the colonizer, you're not challenging them and questioning them. They have the colonizer gave them that. Moors have our own identification. Right? Right, right. Like, Moors have our own identification. Okay. We don't show licenses from the colonizer as identification. Guarantee you every single group that you're talking about that we're, we're undivided and all that stuff, right, right. guarantee you all of them are going to give a license or a passport as ID. Guarantee you. Mm -hmm. They're not going to pull out their own that they made. Why? Because they they're not even that mindset to do that. They still think that this European is who their God is. Tell me that they're not Christian. They're still Christian, even if they're Kemetic, even if they're Hebrew Israelite, even if they're right. indigenous, whatever. Still they're, still, they're still slaves on the plantation. Mm -hmm. You know, and then, you know, I, I kind of know the answer to this, but I want to hear your answer. You know, why, why, why doesn't everybody know that we're, you know, what you say, a more? Why are we not all on the same page? You know, because when people hear this information, you know, they go back. If they're Hebrew Israelite, you know, they want to challenge you. You know, somebody like me, you know, I don't believe in, you know, no religion or anything. You know, I just feel like I'm just a melanated being, you know, on the, in this realm, you know, in this, in this universe. 
you know, and I just like to research and, you know, get as much information as possible, you know, because there's a lot out here to learn and it's just too much going on right now, you know, and I'm just saying like, why isn't, why are we all on, you know, the same page as Melanated Beans? Well, one is because we've had people on our side that kept this information from us, mm -hmm. right? The one, yes. Like we were talking about earlier, Boule and Black Masons, whatever like that. Yes, yes. Negro leaders or whatever. All these people who, you know what I mean? And then the second part of it is that the European has done a good job of reconstructing history mm. by, by, by having us go to their school, having us go to their church, have us go to their restaurant, have us watch their TV channel, have them listen to their radio show. Have them buy their cars. Have us buy their everything. Have us be dependent on them instead of being self-sufficient. But you're not going to be, you're not going to call yourself black and be self-sufficient because black's a slave tag. You're not going to call yourself Hebrew Israelite and be self-sufficient because Hebrew Israelite is a fiction. You're not going to call yourself African and be self-sufficient because continents aren't people. You can't say I'm African. Right. Yeah, you can't but say that we, as a continent, you know. But when we say that, when we say that we're Moors, that brings in nationality, that brings in identity, that brings in culture, that brings in genealogy, that brings in things that that um, the Boule and the colonists right. don't want us to know. Because if we knew about that, we wouldn't be in the situation that we're in as a people. We would all be, it would, it would all really be common would. sense. Like, like I'm saying, I'm not saying that our people aren't Hebrews. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that our people aren't Indians and aren't Cherokees and aren't Chippewa. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying our people aren't from the continent of Africa and Congolese and whatever. Yes, we, we, yes we're those people. Mm -hmm. I'm not denying that we're that. I'm saying that in order to have the recognition, in order to have the recognition that our people are looking for, it yes, has sir. to be under a recognized nationality, a recognized nation, a recognized flag, a recognized culture, that, that there's going to be no dispute as to what it is, who these people are. Everything else brings up dispute. When you research Moorish, you see everything is synonymous with more. African synonymous with more. Egyptian synonymous with more. Indian synonymous with more. Lenny Lenape synonymous with more. If all these words are synonymous with more, then obviously they have a connection to more. Mm -hmm. And if they have a connection to more like that, that everything is synonymous with more, then why are we calling ourselves the synonyms? Why not just call ourselves more? If more means black, and then more means Egyptian, and more means Filipino, and more means Moreno, and more means all this, why don't we just say that we're more then? Wouldn't that be the unity? Wouldn't that be the one name that everybody knows that we are? Even in Spanish, they're going to tell you Moreno. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's true. I've read that too. Um, so, and then, do you have no African name in Spanish? Somebody yeah, African yeah. in Spanish is a Moreno or a Negro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's facts. That's definitely facts. There's no, yeah. So, what about like the get up, you know, like the feathers and everything? You know, where's where's all that coming out of? They have, they have, they have stone, they have feathers in stone on Easter Island. You said on Easter they, Island? Yeah, they have they have um um Aboriginal and Indigenous fezes made out of straw. The sombrero is a fez with a brim on it. Mm. Okay. Right? The top hat is a fez with a brim on it. Everybody who graduates high school, college, university, whatever, they get a fez when they walk across the stage. Mm -hmm. We're looking at fez as the cylindrical whatever. Anything with a tassel on it is a fez. Anything felt is a fez. So a beret is a fez. Mm. It even has the little nipple on top. 
the beret. Right. So, because it's a fez. So you're saying the fezes was here, you know, that was like, that's like, what you're saying is our thing. Yeah. Mm. That's some European stuff. Right. Nothing is European. A oh, cup yeah, is ours. That. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Everything is ours. Mm. Everything they everything they need to make these devices that we got come from the continent. Okay. So then I'm just asking you a question, you know, what I look at, you know, past civilizations, you know, for instance, you know, back on the Egyptians, um, you know, I didn't see any, you know, fezes or anything. You did you didn't you didn't see fezes, but you saw headwares without brims on them. Yeah. Any headwear without a brim is a fez. So even like a scarf, I could put on a scarf and it'd be like that. That's a turban. Turban. Okay. So when you see the brothers that used to wear the long shirts and tie their head with the turban, mm -hmm. they were dressing like Muslims. They were dressing like their ancient foremothers and forefathers. Long shirt belonged their knees. That's Jalabia. That's a Muslim Muslim shirt or whatever, right? Right. And then they take their T-shirt and they wrap it around their head. That's a turban. So it's and only Moors, and only Moors do that. That's Moorish culture. So explain the, um, you know, our people here. You know, before you know the white man came over here. You know, we had the feathers and everything on the head. Can you explain that to me? Feathers, feathers are really omens. Mm-hmm. People just have feathers just because they wanted to have feathers. Right. A feather is something that if you find one, especially depending on the bird that it comes from, that's a big deal. Mm. So when you see, when you see, um, um, oh my gosh, feathers, and then we're thinking about crowns and all that type of stuff. No, that's not what, that's not what peacocks use feathers for. Peacocks not, not just pretty. Because, oh, wow, it's a pretty bird. No, the only reason you see the bird is when it's getting mad and it's about to attack you. Or when it's about to mate. Right. Peacock's not just walking around with the, with the feathers open just because it feels like it. Only if it's mating or if it's about to attack you is it going to whatever. Mm. You know what I mean? Right, right. Right. So, so and, and like we're saying, if we if we go to if we go to um, let me pull up this thing for you. Right. Go to this right here. It talks about on folio four seventy two of this ancient document is cataloged with other objects in featherwork. So anything in featherwork, right, contained in the chest and is described as a Moorish hat of beautiful, long, lustrous, green, and gold-hued feathers. That was Montezuma's headwear. Right. Definitely. Montezuma Montezuma is Aboriginal and Indigenous to over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and he had a feathered crown that they called a Moorish hat. Why they call it a Moorish hat for it, if he's not a Moor? Mm. So that's a Moorish hat. Okay, I see. I don't know, I'm starting to understand a little bit. Right. Because they substi they substituted more with everything, or they substituted everything with more. Right, right. In order to have us disconnect from more, when really our connection is to more, not all the other stuff that they try to to to, to make up. For us to think that's so what many, we're connected. There's just so many names they done made up. There's so many names they made up. But as soon as you start to just tr just try it yourself, just find some European. Hey, you ever heard about the Moors? <laughs> see what they tell you. And find somebody else. Hey, you ever heard about the Moors? And see what they tell you. And they'll tell you they know. They'll be surprised that you know. They're going to ask you how you know. <laughs> how you know about the Moors? You're not supposed to know about that. Right, right. I knew that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we're not supposed to know about another stuff that they'd be surprised that we know. Exactly. But but the real but the real secret, the real secret of the societies is the Moorish history. 
Mm. That's why all the Masons dress up in fezzes and all that stuff because they're pretending to be us because we don't want to be. Right. Yeah. So because we yeah. don't want to be, you don't you don't see you don't see um Masons dressing up like time. Indians. They're not dressing up like Indians or Hebrew Israelites or none of them people. They're not dressing up like ancient Egyptians or whatever. They're dressing up like Moors. Fezzes up, turbans, all their stuff is called Arabic names and all that. Because they know that's how they that's how they they're they're gonna rule by pretending to be us. That's right. And that's why we won't rule because we won't be ourselves. We want to be everything except but Moors. Hmm. And that's how we get ourselves in trouble. Because we want to be everything but Moors. Everything but Moors. So, you know, when you say more, what if, you know, they had like another name for it? You know, there was no more. Instead, it was, you know, subbed out for, you know, another name. Like what I'm trying to get at is, you know, we'll be called something different. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? If there wasn't, a, if, if more didn't come up, you know, as, you know, nationality a word or, you know, organization, however other people want to put it, you know what I'm saying is that we'll be called, you know, something different, you know, as a, as a whole. Cause I see what you're saying is like, you're saying like, when you say more, you just mean, you know, every melanated being on this, you know, on this planet as a whole. Yeah. Because we can't say we can't say melanated being because that's not identity. That's a fiction. Mm -hmm. There's no melanated being land that somebody that a melanated being is going back to. Okay. There's no African land that an African is going back to. There's no black land that a black land is going back to. There's no Canaan that no Canaanites going back to. There's no Hebrew Israelite land. There's no Rastafarian land. Mm -hmm. There's none of that. It's all our land. But, but we know there's a Moorish empire. Mm -hmm. We Moorish. know there's a Moorish empire. Right. And we know that there's a Moorish empire because there's a Moroccan kingdom today. And, a, and you can't have a kingdom without an empire. A kingdom doesn't exist on its own. Right, right. So, you know, you, you know we got the Moroccan empire and it's like, why are we not, you know, why are we not there? You know, because, I, you know, I, I you know, because there's, there's, um, we call those things, um, the smoke shops. The yeah. Hookah, the hookah bars, you know, they, they ran yeah. by Arab. And yeah. went into one and, you know, I was just looking at them because I saw the flag, the, uh, the five star flag, the red, yeah. and then with the green star, um, and I just looked at him. I asked him. I was like, "So do y'all? You know, y'all consider yourself Moors? You know?" And then he turned to his buddy, da da da, and they just start laughing. And they say, "Yeah, we're Moors. We're Moors." You know? And I'm just like, "You know what's going on? What's so funny?" I'm trying to ask y'all some questions. Yeah, but what, but where 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 did that happen? Here or in Morocco? Oh, this happened. This happened here in the state. Oh, all right. So what's that tell you? If they got, if they're flying that flag here and they're saying we're Moors, right. and you're coming in there ignorant, you think you're black, African, whatever like that. Mm -hmm. You're asking them, do you think that you guys are Moors? They're looking at you funny. Yeah, they were. Yeah, <laughs> but, but I know that they were. But the, what I'm saying is that they were from Morocco. Yes, but they're over here. Doing yeah. They're not in Morocco telling you this. They're over here telling you this. Yes, we're Moors. No, I was asking them if they were. I, yeah, yeah. Because they're here. So once they can't prove who they are, then they automatically fall under the jurisdiction of Moors. But they know that they're Moroccan from over there. They know that. Right. But if you're going to claim that you're black, then they're going to claim that they're Moors. If you're going to claim that you're black, then they're going to claim that we're Masons. If you're going to claim that you're black, then they're going to claim that they're Africans. They're going to put them in gods of Egypt movies and all that stuff as some Europeans. Yeah. Because our people don't want to be the gods of Egypt. They want to be niggers. That's facts. So because they want to be niggers and Indians and all this stuff, all right, then, then you don't get to benefit from, from the illustrious history. We will as foreigners. And they do.
And they have been. Because our people want to debate more instead of declaring their nationality and being themselves who their ancient foremothers and forefathers were without doubt or contradiction. And everybody knows that we're Moors. It's only our people who don't know. Mm-hmm. It's only our people who don't know. The quicker our people know, the quicker we figure out this mess that we're in. Until we figure that out, there ain't nothing getting figured out. No matter how much millions they give our people, all your leaguers are just going to pocket that as usual and our continue our situation stays the same or it just gets worse. See, and then uh, I feel like, you know, when people learn about the more doctrine, I feel like a lot of people don't, like, you know, agree with it because there's a lot of more, like, spiritual people who just believe in, you know, earth and universe, not really, like, a a name for us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but if I but if I, if IRS sends them a letter, they owe 5000 in taxes, forget all that universe and all that stuff, they're going to court. Yeah, of course. Uh, forget all, for all, forget all the crystals and, and and the incense and all that stuff. They're going to court if these people give them a ticket. Mm. They're not gonna, they're not gonna channel some energies from the universe to make the ticket, the ticket burn up in the sunlight or whatever. Yeah, I believe something like that could happen though. But yeah, they, 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 they they could you say the same could happen to you? They're not doing it. No, if 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 I get a ticket, I go to court and beat the ticket. I don't play, light some incense. And, and, and walk around with some crystals and tickets are going to disappear. That's a fiction. Right, right. But it also could come with knowledge also, you know? Uh, you know, like a more spiritual person, they could be, you know, in, you know, they could know the law and everything, be educated on that also and beat the ticket. Yeah, but so, 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 with ancestors, you know, like you said, the crystals and everything, getting, getting in tune with the universe, you know, and gaining information, you know, to, in order to beat the case, you know, I feel like a miracle could definitely happen, you know, because the universe is always on our side, but, you know, I don't, I feel like, you know, a name, if, a certain if, name. If universe, if, uni- if universe is on our side, they would have made, they would have made um, Buddy's kneecap break when he had his neck on, on homeboy's, when he had his knee on homeboy's neck. Right, right. When dude put the stranglehold on Eric Garner, he would have slipped and broke his ankle if they were working with the ancestors like that. Mm. Immediately, they would have rubbed the crystals and a lightning bolt would have struck that guy down while he's strangling that brother to death. So we're not even hearing none of that spiritual stuff and, and oh, well, they can, they can, no, they're not doing jack with it. They're playing games. They're playing games. Right, but I mean, right. I feel like that could that could happen to anybody. Yeah, I mean it can, but does it? No, it doesn't. You for you find me ten years worth of anybody else other than our people getting murdered by some highwaymen. Right, right. But what else. I can also say is that those people, you know, that got murdered by the cops and everything, they're not they they wouldn't be in tune with what I'm saying or with you saying. You know, like you said, they would. They were just regular black folk. If they knew, yeah, but, if no, but but the, 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 pro- the problem, the the problem isn't the problem isn't isn't them um, not knowing something or whatever. Only the problem is these foreign Europeans in land that's not their own mm-hmm. abusing authority that they don't have. Right. The only way they got the authority, the only way, the only way they got the authority, because our people want to be Negro, black, colored, and not be Moors. Mm-hmm. That's how they got the authority to murder them in the street, to take their children out their home and stuff like that, put them in a separate home, having them getting raped and all that stuff. Right. But yeah, because that's, that's can also play. go back to what I was saying about if we all, you know, still knew better then, you know, better what happened. These people wouldn't really mess with us all like that. You know yeah. what I mean? But, but, but how, much, how, much, how, much more, how much more telling we need to tell? We just, we just, I don't know if you saw, oh, we might as well play it for you too, let, let, let you see it. Maybe you never saw this yet. You watch basketball? Oh, yeah. I mean, I ain't really into that sports anymore, but I mean, I'll watch it from time to time, some highlights. You, you, know, you, know, you know Isaiah Thomas? Yeah, I know Isaiah Thomas for sure. All right, okay. Constant and consistent reminder 
of our historical journey in America. Um, and being declassified from the human race and then brought down to a lower race that symbolized color. When we talk black, white, uh, mulatto, he did not want us to be classified in these racial categories, but to be elevated back to the human race, uh, where there was only one race, and that was called human. Uh, as he said in his famous speech, the Negro finds himself a slave in his own land. Uh, that means that, you know, we have been consistently and constantly fighting, whether it be uh, from Frederick Douglass, uh, his writings, whether it be from W.E.B. Du Bois, uh, his writings, John Henry Clark on the African uh, writings, uh, again, uh, Drew Ali uh, speaking about uh, the Moorish history here in the, in the United States of America. You know, D? More you want than that. You need more to know that we're Moors or that's not enough? Right, right. But he was just, but I feel like he was just singling. No, 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 no. no. You need more than because, that? Because, or, hey, he st hey, he still mentioned uh, W.E. Du Bois. Yeah, but that has nothing to do with nationality, though. He's just a scholar. That ain't nothing. Who else did he mention? Well, wouldn't Noble Ali just be a scholar, too? No, Noble Ali wasn't just a scholar. He taught you about nationality and right. birthright. He taught uh -huh. you about identity. He taught you about nationality. That's not scholar stuff. What would you call that? That's teaching you about nationality right okay that's not that's not teaching you a trade or teaching you the history of the whatever he's teaching you about who you are as a people so you can stop being marginalized and disenfranchised by europeans in your own land right that's yeah. not religion yeah that's that's facts that's facts but you know i still feel like you know we shouldn't particularly be you know like one you know, one label as a Moor. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like... How, how, come, how come you do so, so it's like, you, you, you say more, but there's so much stuff that comes with it. You know what I mean? Like, like it could be like, okay, I could be a Moor, right? But then, you know, I feel like that I have to be Muslim or, you know, wear the fezes and, you know, all that other, you know, the turbans and, and all that other stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, but... but See, it would be cool to be just be like, okay, yeah, we Moors, but there's just so much other stuff that I just don't agree, you know. With no, it's not. It's not about. It's not not about whether you agree or not, because so much stuff comes with black, and our people agree to be that without yeah. question. So much stuff comes with Negro. So much stuff comes with African. Right. So much stuff comes slave from Africa. So much stuff comes with Indian. So much stuff comes with Cherokee and whatever. Nobody's debating those. So why are they debating when Moors talk? There's obviously some type of witchcraft being worked on our people for them not to accept the fact right. that they're Moors if they could accept everything else. They're going to call themselves bitch and all that. Call their sisters bitch mm -hmm. before they say that they're Moors. We have, we have mental problems. If we're going to say, well, I don't know about being Moors because there's so much stuff to it, but then I'm going to call, call a sister, oh yeah, that's my bitch over there, like it ain't nothing. We got mental problems. Because that is a mental problem. We got mental problems. And if we got mental problems like that, pro probably people who want to say that they're not Moors or whatever mm -hmm. deserve to get everything that they're getting. Mm. Because at, at, at some point, you, you're either going to have to stop walking into the wall of hypocrisy or keep walking into the wall. And if you choose to see a wall and keep walking toward the wall, knowing that the wall's there, and your feet are at the wall, and you're still moving forward with a wall there, you have mental problems. Right. And, and, those, and those problems could only be fixed by that person walking into that wall. Hmm. And some people aren't ready for the responsibility of what's around the wall. So we get it. But you're not going to be talking crazy about people who are walking around the wall. Like, you guys don't know what you're talking about. I don't want to wear a fence to get around the wall. And I don't want to say I'm Muslim to get around the wall. Yeah. I just want to walk into this wall in peace. And you walk into your wall. Do your thing. 
<laughs> so we're about to go around this wall. We're not playing these games with these people, with this nonsense. Right. So hopefully you learned something today. So and I learned you got some definitely, reference definitely points. To, you know, got some reference points. research. Yeah, another yeah. another one you could do is um rvbaypublications.com. Okay. If you go to that website, rvbaypublications.com, mm -hmm. you can see see some information there, hopefully to inspire you. But with you know with um where where it's at right now, we know as more as where it's at, and we're doing our best to get this word to our people. Whether they embrace it or not is up to them because we know that we're Moors. Whatever they want to believe or whatever is up to them. But we know that we're Moors. Right, right. Yeah. Definitely learn some. Definitely, definitely done. You know, connect some dots. That's yeah. what's up. Yeah. And, uh, you know, now, now I'm more abroad about the term more. You know, you know, it's definitely something to read up on. But yeah, sure. but yeah, yo, if anything, if anything else, you know, hit the hit me in the DM or something. Yeah, for sure, for sure. All right. Appreciate you talking to me and take your time out, man. No, no problem, yo, no problem. Yes, sir. Peace be nice to you. Know. Peace. Peace. Man. Islam to all the Moors. You already know what's up. Oh, yeah, and don't forget, MHHS, eyes wide open, 9 p.m. Blog Talk Radio. Moorish Heritage and History School, eyes wide open. Peace and love to all the Moors worldwide. Don't forget, KhalifaMedia.com. Moorish Literature. Moorish everything up there. RVBayPublications.com, RiseOfTheMoors.org. Study, study, study. Islam to all the Moors. Yeah, we might as well hit it one more time just because we can. If I hit it one more time. Be elevated back to the human race, uh, where there was only one race, and that was called human. Uh, as he said in his famous speech, the Negro finds himself a slave in his own land. Uh, that means that, you know, we have been consistently and constantly fighting, whether it be uh, from Frederick Douglass, uh, his writings, whether it be from W.E.B. Du Bois, uh, his writings, John Henry Clark on the African uh, writings, uh, again, uh, Drew Ali, uh, speaking about uh, the Moorish history here in the, in the United States of America.